Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we have another um, uh, unboxing here for the Boksu box. Some more Japanese snacks for me to try. So super pumped up, super ready for this. And this will be for May of 2021. So let's get it open here and see what we got. We got Tropical Travels. Mmm. Should be interesting. Oh, and they have a nice little thank you card in here as well. As you can see here, box full of snacks. We're going to start getting them out of the box here and show you what we got. And I'll read you a little bit of stuff in the info pamphlet there. And this will be part one of two parts. All right, reading from the book here. Probably, there you go. You see that? It's vacation time. We're kicking off the summer down south in the islands of Kyushu and Okinawa. Kyushu is the southernmost of Japan's four main islands. Below Kyushu is Okinawa, a prefecture made up of 160 islands. The region has a temperate to tropical climate and fertile soil, perfect conditions for the many unique ingredients found here. We are so excited to share these flavors with you this month. Inside you'll find native citrus, traditional confections, and local seasonings. Every snack features something unique to southern Japan to give you an authentic taste of the region. So make a cup of jasmine tea, mmm, and join us for our summer snack tour of Kyushu and Okinawa. And as you can see here on the map, you have where the different items are from. You've got Nagasaki, Oita, Fukuoka, Osaka, Niigata, Okinawa, of course, with a whole bunch of stuff, and Ibaraki. And they've also got some learning Japanese, which I will do in a separate video because there's some more at the back of the book. Now let's get on to opening up this box and showing you these snacks. First up, we have Okinawa Salted I'm going to butcher this. Shikuasa Fried Kakinotane. Kakinotane, and this is what it looks like right here. Got this nice little lime on there. Show you the back. Looks like it's some kind of cracker of some kind. No creepy pictures on there. <laughs> Love it. Kakinotane is a popular snack of crescent shaped Sinbei. But these are deep fried to become light and crisp. Every bite is saturated with the salty, sour flavor of local shikwasa. Not sure. Shikwa citrus. Shikwasa are native to Okinawa and the Ryukyu Islands and are popular, popularly used as a garnish instead of lemon or lime. So I'm assuming that this is very similar to that. Um, so we'll see. It should be interesting. All right, next up we have a classic exclusive here. We have Marui Chinsoko. And they're in these little packages here. You can see they're little like purple looking cookies. And we had three of them, which are just falling all over the place here. And I guess this is a Benimo flavor and Benimo or purple yam as it's also known, is an Okinawa superfood. Its stunning, vibrant color adds a purple tinge to this traditional Okinawan cookie, and its natural sweetness gives a rich and earthy flavor. Looking forward to trying this. All right, next up we have some more Marui Chinsuko. But this is pineapple this time. See here, nice little cookies. Once again, lovely little packaging, like the bright colors. Chinsuko are traditional Okinawan shortbread style cookie with a crumbly and crunchy texture. This version is flavored with another Okinawa specialty, pineapple. It has a mildly tropical flavor that is sweet and just a hint of tart. And this is also a classic exclusive as well. Next up we have something that looks very, very interesting. And I'll show you the package here. We got two of these. But you can see there's corn on there. It looks like chocolate. It's, I'm not sure what it is, but it's 
Karu Choco Corn Puffs. Salted milk flavor. These corn puffs are a kind of snack that will be gone before you know it. We think it's the classic sweet and salty combo that makes them so addictive. The salt used is Aoi Umi or Blue Ocean Salt that is made from seawater collected exclusively in one area of Okinawa. Hmm. Sounds like it's going to be interesting. Next up we have Yuzu Monaka. And here's the package. Looks yummy. Yuzu is a citrus there. Monaka is a traditional Japanese confection consisting of a thin, delicate mochi wafers and a thick, jammy filling made with sweet red or white bean paste. This tropical version uses white bean paste and yuzu citrus for a sweet, tangy filling. Sounds pretty good. Alright, next up we have Shinma Togarashi Rice Crackers and Peanuts. And there it is. I'm a little worried about that. Because you know how I feel about that. And it looks like it might be a little spicy. You got some peppers on there. There's the back. These crunchy rice crackers are flavored with spicy Shinma Togarashi, or Island Red Chili Pepper. It's a type of hot chili pepper from Okinawa known for its strong heat and aroma. Oh, so this is going to be nice and spicy. Hmm. In the local dialect, it's called Koregusu, or Kore... Goso. Probably butchering that. And it gives the rice cracker a peanut mix a kick. Sounds good. I am interested to see how this is going to taste, but I'm going to have to make sure I have something to wash it down with to, in case it's too spicy. And that has been it for part one of the Boksu Box for May of 2021. Check back soon for part two coming up. And if you found any enjoyment in this video, please like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. You think any of these look pretty good? Would you try them? And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Prime is out.